Perhaps that came to that one talking about the top title. This code is absolutely terrible. It's unreadable. And there's, in this particular, there's a bunch of things wrong with it. That line over there, this thing off the side of the window, what's in it? Could be anything. These comments suggest that the guy writing it wasn't even sure what he was doing. And if you look up the top, in this Perl fold code, uh oh. <laughs> okay, you can do it. Select the code, hit your keyboard for, for uh, keyboard shortcut of choice, and voila! Tiny code. <laughs> it's indented it. So we can put, work out what the control, control flow is. We've got spaces so we can actually read stuff. It's even lined things up for us. <coughs> And now we can have a look at the code and realize that delete string thing down there is basically a regex. And the rest of the code really is just split. <laughs> 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 so, at the very least, Perl Tiny gives you a lesson to work out what the hell is wrong with some code you just inherited. But I think you can just do more than this. I think that Perl Tiny is a development tool. Basically, Write code anywhere you want, it doesn't really matter. Select the code, <coughs> hit the keyboard shortcut, I like control F because it's not used by my editors and it's, <coughs> and it's tidy. Apply the formatting the way you guys have all read, will agree, we do erase it this way, we do indenting this way. Even better, it will find a bunch of standard bugs and you don't have to go anywhere near a compiler. It's not perfect, no software is, but if you don't like it, make, make, fix it and go on to the next thing. Configuration. I'm using I'm using text because it, it's complicated. <coughs> I like Git or Emacs, or uh, 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 via Emacs. The most, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is you need to re replace your selected text with the output of Perl Tiny. Now Perl Tiny doesn't do that by default. Perl Tiny expects to run on a file and spit out a tiny file. So at the very least, you need to tell it not to do that. But if you can do a whole bunch more, this is what we use at work. This is basically Perl best practices sort of format. Up to you, you do, do, do what you like. Have a file up there, format it, done. Whatever you do, don't use these, the formats, the, 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 the switches described in the man page, because you will not know what they mean just after a week. <laughs> Having done that, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. Like, I've written this code and my editor has lined it up for me. But it could be nicer. <coughs> internet, you'll love how the internet as you, as you find this sort of stuff. <laughs> so let the stuff apply your format, and there you are, it looks much nicer. And say, oops, suppose it, we need to fax the queen. Well, I've missed a comma there. Peltine makes it obvious. Peltine is also useful for refactoring. So then we have a bunch of code and it's fine. The, the stuff it looks fine. But then business, business say we need to add some more stuff. We're going to have another level of test, a couple of level of implementation. And that code is probably going to look a bit ugly. Well, how ugly? Well, just add the braces at the end of the of formatting because Perl Tiny forms it for us. And you realize there's a bunch of stuff that isn't quite right. Like that line there, it's it started being interrupted. It, Broken over two lines, not what we really wanted. This one's got gone right off the page. What we do now, just start writing the code where it's going to be. Put them, just, there's only one, only one variable there, so just add a new method, write it in line. Move it along, it, and there you are. And so, basically, it's built tiny. Get the code off the page as quickly as possible. Embrace the fact it will look ugly, because you can be forward it later. <coughs> so, this is an example. This stream of consciousness, just type away, get it onto the page before you forgot what your brilliant idea was. <laughs> I don't have a the line there because I needed one, but it doesn't really matter. I don't care if it's fine, you just want to get it onto the screen. <laughs> and 
is terrible, but no, it's not. And oops, I missed out, I missed out a bracket, put it back in, reformat, 